Good day, students. This is Maricel F. Vito, Teacher 1 of Andres Bonifacio Integrated School, Senior High School Department, and I will be your guide in learning inverse function. Let us start with the definition of inverse function. The inverse of a function is a function with domain B and the range A given that the original function has domain A and range B. Also defined as a relation reversing the process performed by any function f of x. This inverse function of function f is denoted by f raised to the negative 1. It is defined by the equation f raised to the negative 1 of y equals x if and only if f of x is equal to y for any y in range b. Given this example, let us show the inverse function of original function. So I will start with the original function, which is f of x is equal to 3x minus 8. Using a table of values, I will show the domain of the original function and the range of the original function. So our domain in the original functions are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Our range in the original function is negative 14, negative 11, negative 8, negative 5, and negative 2. To show the inverse of this original function, we have inverse of x is equal to x plus 8 all over 3. So again, using a table of values, we will show the inverse of that function. So this is the given domain of the inverse function, which is negative 14, negative 11, negative 8, negative 5, and negative 2. And our range of the inverse function is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So from the given table of values, we can, uh, we can see that the domain of the original function is the range of the inverse function. And the range of the original function is the domain of the inverse function. To show you the process of finding the inverse of a function, let us do example number 2. Find the inverse of a rational function h of x is equal to 4x plus 8 all over x minus 3. The first thing to do is to change h of x to y. So it goes like this. y is equal to 4x plus 8 all over x minus 3. Next, we are going to interchange x and y. So, interchanging x and y, we will come up with x is equal to 4y plus 8 all over y minus 3. The next step is solve for y using the multiplication property of equality. So, multiplying the variable in the left side with the denominator, which is y minus 3, we will come up with this given xy minus 3x is equal to 4y plus 8. Next, we are going to solve for y using the addition property of equality, wherein we are going to combine terms with like variable. So, combining x and y and 4y on the left side, which is x minus 4y, and equal to 3x plus 8. Next is solve for y by factoring. So we are going to factor out the common variable in the left side, which is y. So that is y times x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus 8. The next step is solve for y using the multiplication property of equality again. So we are going to omit 
x minus 4 in the left side. Okay? So, uh, we, we are going to multiply both sides by 1 over x minus 4. And it goes like this. 1 over x minus 4 times y times x minus 4 equal to 3x plus 8 times 1 over x minus 4. So we can cancel out x minus 4 in the denominator, the left side, and x minus 4 here, one of the factor in the left side. So our new equation is y equals 3x plus 8 all over x minus 4. We just multiply 3x plus 8 to 1 and then copy x minus 4. So rewriting this in the um, inverse form, we have the inverse function of x, the inverse function of h of x rather, is equal to 3x plus 8 all over x minus 4. Let us talk about the inverse of one-to-one -one function. The inverse of a one-to-one -one function may be known by the principle of undo. That is, by considering the inverses of the operations performed. Among the functions, only a one-to-one -one function has an inverse, which is a function also. A function has its inverse if and only if it is one-to-one. -one. Inverting the x and y values of a function results in a function if and only if the original function is a one-to-one. -one. For us to familiarize the process of inverse function, let us do more practice. So, find the inverse function of the following one-to-one -one function. So, example number three, f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Following the process, we are going to change f of x by y. So y is equal to 2x plus 3. The next step is interchanging the x and y. So we have x is equal to 2y plus 3. And then finding the value of y, we have 2y is equal to x minus 3. And then by multiplication property of equality, we multiply both sides by one half. So, after multiplying one half in each uh, side, we have y is equal to x minus 3 all over 2. Next is, we are going to write this equation into inverse function form. And that is, the inverse function of f of x is equal to x minus 3 all over 2. If you can uh, notice the signs of the original function change in the inverse function. Next, example number four. The given original function is f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Following the step, we are going to change f of x by y. So that is y is equal to 2x minus 1. Next is interchanging the x and y. So our new equation is x is equal to 2y minus 1. And then solving for y, we have 2y is equal to x plus 1. Next is by multiplication property of equality, we multiply both sides by 1 half. So multiplying both sides by one half, we will come up with this equation. y is equal to x plus 1 all over 2. Again, um, please observe the sign of the original function and the inverse function. So rewriting this equation into inverse function form, we will have the inverse function f of x is equal to x plus 1 all over 2. So, as you can see again, the, the sign, which is subtraction in the original function, became addition in an inverse function. Example number 5. 
f of x is equal to x plus 5 all over 5. Again, f of x is equal to x plus 2 all over 5. So, um, changing f of x, we will come up with this y is equal to x plus 2 all over 5. And then, interchanging the x and y, we have x is equal to y plus 2 all over 5. And then, um, multiplying by multiplication property of equality, we are going to multiply x times the denominator, which is 5. So it will come up with 5x is equal to y plus 2. Solving for y, we have y is equal to 5x minus 2. And then rewriting this equation into inverse function form, we have the inverse function of f of x is equal to 5x minus 2. To end up with our lesson, I will leave you this. Math can be related to our lives. It teaches us to always be careful with the signs. And for that, thank you very much.